What's up guys and welcome to the channel. My name's Micah and here we have Amazon's cheapest hard shell sit on top style kayaks. Now I wanted something cheap and fun for the summer and kayaks are just so easy. They're so carefree. Initial cost is low, right? Compared to a boat or other stuff. I always like to get the cheapest stuff and see if it's worth a crap so I can make the mistakes and you guys don't have to. But spoiler alert, these bad girls were no mistake. They are so fun. So I can't wait to tell you guys all about them. So I'm just going to go through all the features and specs on these kayaks, kind of what they have to offer, kind of what you get for your money. I'll go over how much they cost and why I ended up choosing these specific kayaks. And of course, after we talk about them, we're going to head out to the lake. We're going to take them out on the water, see how they do. So you guys can kind of see what the everyday use of these kayaks looks like. This is going to be a ton of fun and I think by the end of this you guys are going to end up with a couple of these in your cart. So now first off let me tell you guys a little bit about my experience with kayaks. Uh, it's not much. I've only ever been out on kayaks like a handful of times in my life. You know I've been on paddle boards and stuff like that as well. So I am not some yak enthusiast. I am not a professional. I am just your average Joe. But this summer, I kind of wanted something, some reason to go out to the lake, to get out in the sun, you know, and I didn't want to break the bank, right? So I was thinking, okay, do I want a canoe? Do I want some kayaks? Do I want some paddle boards? Like what exactly would be the most fun, you know, that's fairly budget friendly? And I ended up deciding to go with kayaks just because they're so easy, they're so portable, you know, they're, they're just not a headache or a hassle to load up in your truck, in the back of your SUV, on top of your minivan. You know, it's fairly easy to get these to the lake, to the water. And I knew if I got something that was more of a hassle, you know, even a canoe that you might need a trailer or something to move to take out to the lake, you know, it would just be more of a hassle and I'd be less motivated to actually take it out. But the kayaks are so easy. I find myself going out to the lake every single week now, just about. And the price point was right on these guys. So for the pair, I paid $379 shipped by Amazon, dropped off on my front door. So that's a pretty good deal, right? You know, it comes out to roughly $189 per kayak. So not too bad of a price right there. Now, if you're like me, you're doing some research, you're looking around to some local spots. So for me, I had seen kayaks available at my local Walmart, at the Tractor Supply Co. And they were actually around the same price point as these, right? So around that $200 price mark or just under that. But there was a few key differences on those kayaks that led me to get these ones from Amazon. The most notable and the biggest difference is that these are going to be sit on top style kayaks, right? So you do have your backrest right on there and so you're going to sit on top of the kayak. It's not the style that your legs go down in a hole and kind of go to the front of the kayak you just sit right on top of it you get full sun that just seemed like more of the style that I would be into that I would enjoy more you know if you ever flipped your kayak and it was the style that has the hole that you put your legs in sometimes those are just hard to get back on or back into whereas this sit on top style is just really easy if you were in the water and wanted to get up on your kayak and outside of that you know we all go to the lake to soak up that precious beautiful sunshine and with the sit on top style kayak you get full sun you know put your trunks on put your flip flops on i mean you just it just makes for a a better experience out on the water than the style that you sit in. Now the second thing that I just absolutely love about these kayaks is the overall length 
the overall weight of the kayak and the weight capacity. So now our kayaks here are gonna be eight feet in length. So as you're looking around, as you're shopping around, you're gonna see a lot of kayaks that are 10 feet long. But if you're just looking for something to take to the lake, just to goof around locally, you know, every day, the eight foot length is so nice because as you're paddling your kayak, as you're out on the water, it's just so much more maneuverable. It's just so easy to get this in little creeks or streams and rivers or even just turning around. The eight foot kayak is just so much easier to use. Now on top of that, when it comes to hauling these things around, so whether you're putting this on top of your minivan, you know, in the back of your SUV, in the back of your pickup, the eight foot length versus the 10 is just so much easier to load up and get yourself going to the lake. Now, when it comes to the overall weight of these kayaks, here's the kicker. They only weigh like 30 pounds each. You're just gonna have no problem hauling these kayaks around. And I have both of our kayaks here and I could easily just walk these down to the water from my truck. They're just so light, it's a breeze just to take these out or off of your vehicle and then go throw them down to the water. So and now we come to the weight capacity of our kayaks. So the weight capacity of our two kayaks is gonna be 250 pounds. So when shopping around for these different kayaks, that's something that you have to look at. A lot of people don't until it's too late. Some of them, I know Tractor Supply specifically, I think they're eight foot kayaks that were $199 were 225 pound weight capacity. So you might think, well, that's fine. You know, I weigh 200 pounds. So if it has a 225 pound capacity, that's totally fine. That's all I'd need. Well, maybe not. So now we do have these cargo areas in the rear of our kayak. So there's kind of like a bungee rope that goes over that. So it was nice to see the 250 pound weight capacity on these because if I am loaded up with gear, you know, or coolers, speakers, fishing poles, whatever it may be, I have plenty of capacity for my uses with these kayaks and some of the others around the same price point I did not. So and now the only risk I had with these is that I was looking at them on Amazon, right? I didn't have them in front of me to touch them, feel them, see them in person like I could some of the other stuff that was here local. So it was kind of a gamble to get these from Amazon, you know, in the hopes that they would be what I was looking for and what I wanted. And they have by far exceeded my expectations so now I'm gonna set one of our kayaks down on our table. I'll kind of walk you through all the features and specs, everything that's on the kayak, kind of what these things have to offer and what they come with right out of the gate. So we're just gonna start at the front of the kayak and kind of move our way back and I'll kind of explain everything on here. So at the very tip of your kayak, you're gonna have a nice handhold here, a nice grip that's on a string on the front of the kayak. We do have one of those on the rear as well so it does make it easy you know if you had two people versus each one holding their kayak you know you could each just grab those handholds you know it makes it easy to pull it out of the water as we start to move on back you're gonna see these little cutouts here on either side so this is just a spot that you could kind of take your paddle and just set it across there. So this is for when you are absolutely chilling. You're just floating down the river. You're just out in the middle of the lake enjoying yourself. So and now below that in this recessed area where your feet and legs are gonna go, you're gonna have these little spots here and that's where you can put the heel of your foot. So it's kind of a foot hold or a foot rest. And so you get four different positions here. So whether you were four foot tall or eight foot tall, 
there's just gonna be a spot there for everybody. So it's nice to see a few different options. It accommodates a lot of different riders or boaters, floaters, I don't, yakkers. I guess I don't know the proper term for what kayakers are called. We'll call them yakkers when you're yakking on the waters. So then as we're moving on back here, you do have your seat. So it is collapsible, right? You can have it folded down as you're hauling it, you know, as it's on your SUV in the back of your truck, whatever it may be. So it does have these straps here on either side. It's actually just one big strap that loops around the back of it. And then on the side here, you're gonna get some adjustments. So you can adjust this backrest and kind of change where it sits. So if you really wanna be reclined back as you're paddling around, or if you wanna be in a more upright position, all you have to do is just pull these little tabs forward, and then you can either pull on that strap and adjust that backrest forward, or you can release some tension on that so that your backrest goes further back. You can do that on either side and then just click that little latch back into place and then you are locked, your backrest isn't moving. You do get one cup holder on the kayak, so it's gonna be right in front of the chair of the seat. It's big enough around, it can hold all of your regular size cans, it can hold the larger cans and a larger size water bottle. You know, even those aluminum water thermoses will fit in there as well. Now directly in front of the seat, you're gonna get a little hand hold here. So it kind of has a receipt session on both sides. So if you wanted just to pick up the kayak in the dead center, so that spot, that handhold is kind of perfectly in the center so the kayak doesn't tip forward or backwards. So grabbing right there makes it really easy to haul the kayak around, even to haul two like we did earlier. Now coming to the rear of the kayak, right behind the back of your seat, you're gonna have this generous size storage capacity. So I would say it's close to 16 inches by 16 inches. You know, it does come with this bunch bungee rope type stuff that's over the top of it. So anytime I've put, I have a large Bluetooth speaker and that's super fun to put back here and be bumping some tunes on the water, terrorizing all the lake folks. <laughs> or just a big cooler back here. You know, that works really good just to secure it that you don't need any extra straps or anything like that. We do get that handhold on the rear that I was talking about. It's identical to the one that was on the front. And now each of these kayaks is going to have its own specific VIN number as well which is cool if you ever needed to license or register your kayak for any reason or any permit that's always nice to see now another cool thing on these is you will see these holes kind of speckled around the kayak and if you look in them that hole goes straight through to the bottom it would go straight through to the water underneath you as you're on the lake so that's kind of nice you know if you ever splashed water in your kayak you know if it flipped over for any reason you know that water is just going to drain straight through the kayak so it's not going to be pooled up you're not going to be sitting in a river for any reason so now i've got our kayak flipped over just so you guys can see the bottom of this and this is really neat so you've got these channels that are cut in your kayak here so you've got a bunch of them and then kind of these tail pieces on the rear you can see there's a little sand on our kayak yes these have been out before those make it so easy to go whatever direction you want to go you know some of these kayaks will just have a smooth hull on them so every time you paddle with your left you know the whole kayak turns to the right and every time you paddle on the right the thing turns to the left so your whole kayaking experience is just left to right to left to right but these do exceptionally well in keeping your kayak going straight in the direction that you want to. Well, and so now I think we're just gonna load up our kayaks. Well, we'll just take one today since it's just me, but we're gonna go and get this thing on the water and we're gonna see how it does. And so of course I'll bring my camera with me, take you guys so you can see how these things do for being the cheapest kayak on Amazon. This is gonna be super fun. 
All right, so we made it out to the lake here. So just so you guys can kind of see my setup, all I do is put the kayak in the truck and I put one ratchet strap around it. Like this baby is solid. It's not going anywhere. So super easy to load, super easy to take wherever, you know, even if this were on the top of your car. So now I'm just gonna bring this down to the water and then we'll launch it and see how it does. Sorry, I'm making a YouTube video. You're gonna see me like talking to myself and looking like a crazy person. <laughs> Good. So basically I just bring the kayak right next to the water is what I found works easiest. And then I just sit in and kind of just shimmy it right in. Seems to be a good style. And we're off guys. <laughs> And we're just paddling out. We're just on the water. We're just enjoying ourselves, guys. So the thing I like about the foot rests and the footholds on this is that I can have my legs completely straight like I am right now, or I can have my feet a little bit back. You know, my knees can be bent. I could keep going back as much as I wanted, but if I want to have my legs completely just straight, you know, just very relaxed. I'm just out, just smelling the roses or the dirty lake water. You know, it's really easy. It's really nice. Another thing I'll say, so I didn't really talk about the paddle on this. So the paddle, it's pretty standard issue, right? Uh, no frills about it. But the thing I do like about this paddle is that it does have these little rubber boots on either side here. So that's kind of your drip guard. So as I'm paddling, you know, as each side of the paddle comes up, as I put the other side in the water, and make sure those drips don't get on me, don't come in the kayak, and I've always come back completely dry. So that's something I really like about these as well, is that you don't have to be, you know, just ready to get super wet in order to take your kayak out. Well, and it's easy to get it a really good clip on this. This thing is so light, you know, all you have to do is just, just start paddling ever so softly. And man, you get a really good clip, you know, like two to three miles per hour, no problem at all. Well then, so like I was saying about the kayak being eight feet long and how easy it is to maneuver. So we'll just do a 360 really quick just so you guys can see. So that's a 180, 270, and 360, just like that. So super easy just to spin yourself around, you know. Uh, that makes these really fun to take on little rivers or creeks or for float trips. You know, you're agile enough on it that you can miss all the rocks and down timber and stuff like that that could be in your way. Well, and look what we have right here. What the heck is this thing? A natural light. And it's full, completely unopened, slightly chilled by the water little foamy but uh well it's a good thing i brought a koozie here so now we can test out the the cup holder works like a charm gosh so practical i love this thing i do love these sit on top style kayaks you know versus the kind that you put your legs in you know maybe that style would be good if you were going down the rapids or something like that but just to get out on the water, if you're just trying to chill and float, play some tunes, have a cold beverage, soak up some sun, man, the sit on top style is the way to go. Like, we're just chilling right now. This is just super nice and really relaxing, you know, we're about at the middle of the lake. And I've taken these out before where the waters have been kind of choppy, you know, on some windy days. And they did totally fine. They were extremely stable, you know. There was never a point to where I was thinking that they might flip. I've actually never flipped one of these yet, and I've kind of tried to. But man, these things are just a ton of fun, you know. So like I was saying, it was $379 for a pair of them, for two of them. 
So I will put a link in the description to that exact Amazon listing. So if you guys want to get these same kayaks for yourself, you know, by all means, check that out. But that listing was funny. I don't know if it was a mistake because the price for two for a pair was $379. But if you just wanted to get one kayak, it was $399, like $399 for one, which that was fine. That didn't bother me because I knew I wanted two. You know, even if you don't have an immediate plan, you know, to use the other one, say it's just you, say you have no friends in the entire world. Once you bring the kayak to the lake, people just ask you about it. They're like, oh, that thing's pretty cool. Do you got another one of those? Could I go out with you? Could I try that out? But they're nice, you know, I've got that backrest adjusted. I'm just slightly leaning back. You know, I'm extremely relaxed. This is the life. This is the life. And it didn't cost much. You know, and I'm not really a fisherman, but it's crossed my mind after getting these. It's like, it would be too easy just to grab a fishing pole. Just put your cooler in the back in that storage spot and just grab a pole and take that with you. It would just be too much fun to get a group of people and just go hit the lake with these, you know. Shoot, even if you bought four pairs of them, so eight total, I guess what would that be? Probably 1,500 bucks or something like that. So for 1,500 bucks, you could get eight of these. I think these things are just a steal for what they are. I just have taken them out so many times with so many friends and they're just a riot. It's just so easy. You know, like I said, I'm not some avid kayaker, you know, crazy enthusiast or anything like that. I'm just an average Joe and I wanted something cheap for the summer here to get out on the water. And this has been perfect. <laughs> this is exactly what I was looking for and exactly what I wanted. All right, so as we're getting closer to shore, I really try and like book it to kind of beach myself you know, a fair amount, so then I can easily get out without ever having to step in the water. So we'll kind of kick it up a notch. And I think that's gonna be perfect here. I should be able to grab it and pull it on shore. All right, and that is it. Our kayak perfectly on shore. There is not a drop of water on my pants, on me, anywhere. We're perfectly dry. A couple ducks came in right there. They were just following us the whole time, but so easy, you know, just to load up, take to the lake, to use, just awesome. Well, and that is it, guys. We're back home, safe and sound. That was just so much fun and so easy, too. I mean, I grabbed the kayak, walked it to the truck, threw it in the back end, put one strap around it. I had it loaded up and was ready to go hit the water in 60 seconds flat. There's nothing to it. These things are so easy. Initial cost was so low and the reliability, the quality of these things is great. I could not be more happy. So like I said, I'll put the link for these kayaks in the description. If you got $379 to spend on some summer fun, get a pair of these things. They are just so cool. Well, and I think I think that's about gonna wrap it up, guys. So Amazon's cheapest hard shell kayaks, five stars by far, absolutely five stars. I'm probably gonna get another pair of these just because I've had so many friends like them as well. So like the video if this helped you out, subscribe if you guys wanna see more, and until next time, have a wonderful night, guys.